Hey guys, Kenny here, and today we're going to be diving into IntelliJ IDEA. This is another IDE, and it's pretty awesome. It increases your efficiency and productivity just out the door. Now, it is an IDE, so integrated development environment, same thing as what NetBeans and Eclipse and a few other ones such as like BlueJ or some those other ones, same exact concept, except for it's a little bit different. So in Eclipse, you're going to have all of your plugins over here in the package explorer, right? So you'll have all of them listed down here. In this case, I only imported one because I don't usually use Eclipse, but you'll have them down here and a new project is another plugin in Eclipse. Now in IntelliJ, you're going to want to do it a little bit different. The way IntelliJ is set up is each project consists of modules. And each of these modules could be considered a plugin. So the way that I would divide it is maybe if you're if you have plug, public plugins, you can have a folder for those. If you have private plugins, have a folder for those. A folder for the plugins that only go on your server. Maybe folders based on different topics like NPC stuff, economy stuff, based on different topics. Divide your projects like that. This is for IntelliJ. So I'll go ahead and show you how to set up the first project. We're going to go ahead and file, new project. And in here, we're going to go ahead and select empty project down at the bottom under other. And we're going to go ahead and call this tutorial project. And remember, all of our plugins are going to be added inside this project. Go ahead and click finish, and we can go ahead and close that out. Now, in order to add a module, remember a module is going to be a individual plugin that you're going to be programming. So we're going to go ahead and file new module. And we're going to call this first plugin and as you can see it is in the it's a subdirectory of the tutorial project so it's creating its own directory go ahead and hit next and finish now over here you can see it's been pulled up in our project panel we can go and swirl this down and you can see we've got this separated by folders now if you don't like this you can go to the packages and it's a little bit more of something you might be used to in your previous IDEs. But if not, you can stay with the folders. We'll go ahead and leave it at the packages for this tutorial. Now we're going to want to create a new package and we're just going to call this first plugin. Just like that. And same old thing, creating a new class first plugin. Now, once we've created this class, we're going to want to extend Java plugin, right? Oh no, how do we add external jars to the build path? Well, it's actually quite simple. What we're going to want to do is we're going to go to file and project structure and click on the modules. And then over here, we can see the dependencies. So what we're going to need to do is add the bucket jar. Jars are directories. And once you've grabbed the bucket jar, go ahead and hit OK and apply. OK. Now, if we go ahead and Alt Enter, you can see it's imported and bam, we are set. That's exactly how you add dependencies for any other type of jar. Now that you guys have created your first plugin inside of IntelliJ, you're going to want to know how to export it into the jar. So we're going to go back into file project structure, and we're going to go over here into the project settings and click artifacts. Now we're going to click the green plus button, go to the jar and from modules with dependencies. And you're going to choose your module from the drop down. Make sure you choose it. If you have multiple modules, there'll be an option for choosing all of them. Make sure you just choose your module. You only want that. Go ahead and hit OK. And now over here, you can see we've added the module and you can change where you want it to output to. By default, it'll go in the out directory. And then we can go ahead and hit apply and OK. Now we've added the module so we can go ahead and build and under build, build artifacts and go ahead and click build. And now it has built the project. And as you can see in our tutorial project directory, there's an out artifacts, first plugin underscore jar. And there we go. That is our compiled jar. So guys, that's about it for this tutorial. I can't really think of anything else to show you. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email me, mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com. And I will be more than willing to answer any and all questions. Once again, there's going to be some big changes coming up, coming up on this channel real soon. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, it's all been in prep for that. That's what this big wait is for. Anyways, guys, until next time.